In some cases, you may have to set up Experience Builder Developer Edition offline. For example, you may have unreliable internet or running in a restricted network with no internet access. If so, you have the option to set up Experience Builder Developer Edition in disconnected environment. And before we go, you have to download and install the ArcGIS JavaScript API 4x because Experience Builder uses ArcGIS JavaScript API 4x. And in disconnected environment, you cannot access the API hosted on Content Deliver Network. So to run Experience Builder offline, you also need to host the JavaScript API at a server that is accessible. And this can be achieved by following the documentation of ArcGIS JavaScript API, download and host a local build of it. So I've already done this. I host it on my local server and here is a URL and I will use it later in Experience Builder setup. The Experience Builder offline setup process requires you to download the, the Develop Edition and as well as the Node Cache package. And you can download both at the site of ArcGIS for Developers and find the Experience Builder. So I have these two files downloaded in advance and extracted them to the local. So this is the developer edition and this is the node module cache. You do not need to remain connected to the internet during the offline installation. So in this video, I have already turned off my internet. And next, you will find the node cache directory on your machine. So I will open command line and run npm config get cache. And this will return a path. So you will need to copy this and find the directory. Here it is. And next, you will need to replace the npm cache folders with the one you just downloaded. So I will copy all these files and paste it to the directory on your machine. And after the replacement is done, you are going to install the node packages for Experience Builder. Let's find the developer edition and you will need to install the package for both client and the server directory. So let's do for the client first, cd to this directory and run npm install offline. Okay, it's down. And then let's go to the server directory and run the npm install as well. Remember the offline pack. So it takes a while, I will post it and come back later to save your time. Okay, all the packages are installed offline. And last, you will have to update the JavaScript API URL used in Experience Builder. And then you will replace the URL parameter in these four files. Let's find the first one, it's the index.html under client disk directory. So go back to client and dist, find the index and the click to open it in note and find the JavaScript API URL parameter. Here it is. So by default, it's using the API host on the content deliver network and we will replace it with our local build. So I will copy this URL of local build and uh, replace it. Okay, save it. So you will also do the same for the next three files which are the index HTMLs under experience, template, and the builder directory. So after you replace the JavaScript API URL, the offline installation of experience builder should be done here. And now you will have the same step to start experience builder as you normally do. Let's run npm start at the server directory. And if you are going to develop, you will also need to start the node at the client directory. And now you will be able to open the 3001 port to access Experience Builder. As disconnected, you may also need an accessible portal in your restricted network, such as portal set up in your organization's private server. In my case, I have a local enterprise installed on this machine, so I can access it locally, which is this URL, and I will copy that and connect to this portal. I've already registered a client on this portal, so I will directly paste it here. Allow the permission, and here you go. You have the Experience Builder set up, and then you can go ahead to use it and develop your custom function. Mm -hmm.